Hello guys, my name is Bloodcrawler1, bringing you guys our team builder for week 5 of the GPL. Uh, this week we're battling Panda Quill and the Glasgow Warriors. It's uh, our second divisional matchup, so it's uh, a pretty important one. We can grab a uh, top of the division if we win this one. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get into the team and uh, see what we will bring this week. Uh, first of all, we are bringing Ferrothorn, uh, holding an Ockerberry, uh, just for the... Uh, if he runs fire, fire uh, coverage on his Mega Altaria or, uh, or any Shen and his any HP fires, I can't, uh, I, I don't, uh, I didn't predict. Um, just Leechy, Gyro Ball, Stealth Fox, and Protect. Uh, my main answer for physical Altaria, if he decides to bring that, I'm honestly expecting a special variant, but he might bring Agility on it or uh, Dragon Dance and then Gyro Ball just, just pops it basically, just max max HP, max defense, uh, minimum speed to hit as hard as possible with Gyro Ball. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, next up, Tornadus in Garnet form uh, with Focus Blast, Sludge Wave, Dark Pulse and Tailwind with uh, Phytinium Z. Uh, Primes or Tailwind just because uh, he's some really fast ones like the trio, Aerodactyl, uh, Raikou, Gengar. So I'd speed those, otherwise I'm, I'm gonna be in trouble. Uh, Focus Blast to hit uh, the Ursa Ring and the Empoleon and the Umbreon. Uh, Sludge Wave to hit the Altaria and Dark Pulse to hit the Gengar. Uh, we're, uh, this should be timid. Uh, we're timid nature with the 248 speed EVs to outspeed Gengar. Which is he, if he isn't scarfed, uh, max special attack and the rest in HP, just for some uh, extra extra bulk, I guess. Uh, so that's basically torn just to break break down uh, some of his walls, like the like the Empoleon. Can hopefully pop it with a, a Z Focus Blast. Uh, next up, Mega Heracross uh, with close combat, Pin Missile, Earthquake, and Rock Blast. Earthquake is mainly for Empo uh, for. For the Gengar, I guess, and Podian, I can hit with him a switch in, but mostly for the Gengar to hit that thing uh, super effectively and, and take it out. Uh, a lot of speed to uh, outspeed uh, Jolly Breloom. This needs to be Jolly. Man, the mistakes. Uh, this is a Jolly max speed. Uh, jolly and, and a lot of speeds for Breloom. Uh, max attack and the rest in HP. Uh, nothing too, too crazy about this set. Um, next up. Fizdef Tapofini, Spadef Tapofini, excuse me, uh, with um, Moonblast, Defog Serve, and Haze. Uh, Haze for the, the, the Altaria I decided to set up, or uh, he likes setup moves, so I honestly uh, even ran work up on his Empoleon. So just need to make sure I, uh, I, I, I he doesn't set up on me. Uh, I might change Moonblast to, to Nature's Madness, honestly, that might might be better uh, to, to break down some of his walls but uh, uh, yeah I don't know I'm not, not sure about this one yet um, yeah defog for, for hazard removal just max HP max but uh, yeah nothing too crazy uh, then a load on muck with the sugarberry uh, poison touch ability because uh, I don't need the, the berry to pop uh, at 50%, that's uh, so I run Poison Touch. Uh, poison Jab, Knock Off, Shadow Sneak and Pursuit. Pursuit for the Gengar, Shadow Sneak for Priority. Uh, Sugarberry is basically to take out the, the trio because we can take uh, an Earthquake from full, uh, click Knock Off on it and then uh, kill it with Shadow Sneak. Uh, after we hopefully uh, Pursuit Trap the Gengar. That's the, the hope. If you bring both of those, you might not, and I'm sure just max HP, max Pedef. Almost max by death and uh, 60 attack EPs with uh, with adamant nature to uh, to hit it a little bit harder. And then last but not least, choice bandit Zygarde 50 percent with thousand arrows, iron tail, crunch, and extreme speed. Uh, crunch is mainly there for the Musharna if he brings that. Though I don't expect it, he might. Iron tail is there for the Altaria. Thousand arrows and extreme speeds just just stab and, and yeah priority. Uh, max attack. Almost max speed for the Altaria. Still having an element nature and rest in HP. Just to have some extra HP, I guess. Uh, 
I was not sure about this set to be honest. It was fiddling with Dragon Dance set. First I had a sub DD set like last week. But then I noticed I didn't really have anything to sub up on for free, so I was like, sub ain't, ain't that good, so I switched to Yachi Berry and now I switched to Choice Band. So, yeah, let, let's, uh, yeah, we see how we'll do. Some some interesting sets, for sure, but uh, yeah, hopefully we win this one, because since it's an important matchup, we can uh, maybe even take uh, first place in the conference, if we're lucky. If... Uh, the, the other matches go in the, the right direction, I guess. So yeah, uh, I'll see you in the match, I All guess. Alright guys, so uh, into the battle we go. As you can see, he bought uh, Typhlosion, Breloom, Umbreon, Mega Altaria, Raikou and Empoleon. So no Gengar and uh, and the trio, no Aerodactyl, so that's good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would have liked him to bring the Duggy and the Gengar, to be honest, since my muck was uh, spe specifically for those two mons, but... Not like it's gonna do nothing, I guess. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's see how we fared. Uh, we we lead Tornadus because it's, it's basically the best matchup against everything, unless he leads Raikou, which I don't expect him to, but he might. We was pretty scared of the Raikou if it was a subcom mindset, but if it was subcom minds, he couldn't really. Minicom mindset is the, the big issue, I guess. Subcom minds wouldn't really make sense because. He can't hit both my Zygarde and my Ferratone while still having Stab, since he has only four move slots. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see what ha happened in the match, I guess, and uh, see we pull out uh, this important match and go four and one. Uh, his record is, is two and two so far, I believe. So he's uh, yeah actually lost in the division because uh, everyone else is either three and one or uh, hey, the rest of us is three and one, I think. So yeah. And he's 2 and 2, so he's uh, a bit behind, but uh, not that far. So if we lose, uh, every everyone is uh, basically equal. So yeah, uh, let, let's see if we want this one. So uh, he needs of Breloom, and we need of Tornadus, which is yeah perfect for me, honestly. Uh, I did not pack uh, Flying Stab on this, because Sludge Wave uh, o code Breloom anyway. So I, I, I just click Sludge Wave here. I lose nothing by clicking Sludge Wave. I outspeed him unless he scarfed, and if I scarfed, I can live a hit, I think. A rock to him, it's a roll, but it's in my favor. Um, and he's probably switching out anyways. And I click Solid Wave, even if the Empoleon comes in, I can uh, I can click uh, Focus Blast or even Z Focus Blast. So, yeah, I just. He, he switches out into the Empoleon. Our Sludge Wave is gonna do nothing. Here I was like, should I do this turn 2 already, my Z move, but. What the heck, I went for it. Click our Z-move. And down goes the Empoleon. So that's a, a big threat out of the way immediately. So he brings in the Raikou here, which is, yeah, a big threat. So he has a, a free turn, basically, because he outspeeds me. And yeah, he has the typing advantage, obviously. So uh, we gotta switch out here immediately on Muck. As he sets up a Calm Mind, which is, yeah, pretty scary, to be honest. He's not shiny, so he can't be running our sphere. Which is good, because uh, that means he doesn't have that for my Ferrothorn. He needs either, so he has either HP Fire or HP Ice for Pharaoh, uh, for Zygarde or Pharaoh, but can't hit both super effectively. So probably gonna be HP Ice if I had to guess, so if my Ferrothorn walls this set pretty well. So he switches out in the Umbreon as I go for a knockoff, knocking off its uh, Rocky Helmet, taking some residual there, but yeah. Getting rid of the Rocky Helmet is, is pretty good. Uh, so we swap immediately into Feeny, expecting it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what he was. Was just Feeny's a great switch into this, honestly. As he goes for a protect, as I Moonblast. So yeah, Moonblast. Uh, so he's very, very uh, speed up bulky, as you can see. Almost, we almost, even though we don't have any investment, he was just pretty much a speed up set, I think. So yeah, we go into our Heracles, which yeah, basically beats. Can Oko the, the Umbreon, even if it's uh, max HP, max defense, but uh, he makes a, a switch as well into the Raikou, which is a great switch on his part, honestly. As we both double out again, he, he into his uh, Breloom, which was probably packing and Aerial Ace, if I had to guess. And I go into Muck again. Uh, and as I double again into my Ferrothorn, as he goes for a sub, which is pretty scary. And he has these behind the sub, so I was like, I need to break this sub. So I go for a gyro ball and break his sub. 
Uh, here we go for the Mach Punch, doing 80% uh, to me, which is, yeah, not a good thing. Uh, so yeah, he was my Mach Punch as I uh, click Gyro Ball, and this crit honestly didn't matter. Uh, he was dying anyway, so uh, yeah, down goes uh, the Breloom, it's 6 to 4 now, so that's pretty good. Uh, in a good spot right now. Uh, so he goes into the Altaria. So yeah, basically just gonna sack off my Ferrothorn. He clicked Gyro Ball. If he wanted to set up on me, uh, he dies to a Gyro Ball. So he basically had to kill me here. As he goes to the Flamethrower, my Okabari pops, but I was so low that it honestly didn't matter anymore at this point. So down goes, uh, goes my uh, Ferrothorn as I switch in my Muck. And he's just gonna switch out into Umbreon again. I click Poison Jab. And that does 28%, so another one might kill him. So he goes for a wish as I uh, take out the Umbreon. So that's uh, three big threads down. Uh, the biggest threat right now is throw the Eldaria. Uh, since the, the, the Raikou isn't Rash Nature, uh, the event one with the R Sphere. Even though my, my Ferrothorn is, is gone, but uh, yeah, he's going into a. Typhlosion, as I switch in Feeny, which is my uh, designated switch in for uh, for this Mon. And he goes for a Will-O-Wisp, which in Misty Terrain does nothing, of course, as he switches in his Raikou, as I go for a, a Moonblast, I think, yeah. Uh, and dropping a special attack, which is pretty big, because he, he can't really Oko anything now. So I switch into my Zygarde, now that he's at minus one. As he goes for a Calm Mind, bringing him back to neutral, but since I'm I'm banded and yeah, he's at, he's at neutral, he can't Oko me with HP Ice. So he goes for HP Ice, does yeah, 85%, but I live it and down goes the Raikou. And uh, he doesn't know anything about my set right now, because I mean, could be anything. Because uh, Raikou, I Oko Raikou anyways with max attack. So, Right here he goes into the Altaria and was like, do I need to save my Zygarde here? Because it's still pretty, pretty nice against the Typhlosion. But honestly, I don't outspeed the Typhlosion because I was like, and I outspeed him anyway now. So I get a free Bandit Thousand Arrows off, which is going to do like 75%, I think. So I just click it. Was like, I can deal with this thing as he goes for a Dragon Dance, which is pretty scary. So now I, I basically needed to switch out. I couldn't stay in now because... I have E-Speed on, on Zygarde and I can revenge and just have to hope he does not have a Roost on this set. And uh, yeah, so I go into Feeny as he clicks uh, the return and does like, yeah, 80% because you're Spadef and not Fizzdef. Uh, and he's gonna return again to take out my Feeny as I go into Zygarde again and click the E-Speed to kill off uh, the Altaria so that thing is down. And he only has the, the Typhlosion left. And since uh, he might be Scarfed, Scarf will always would be pretty wonky, but uh, let's not count it out. Uh, so yeah, he goes into his Typhlosion. He clicks, uh, I click three feet again. And yeah, he clicks the HP, uh, HP. Uh, and then I go into the Tornadus. He clicks HP Ice again, I go for Sludge Wave, and yeah, we win the match. So yeah, uh, GG to, uh, to Panda Quill. Great game, honestly. Was uh, pretty scared there for a moment at Altaria, but I played around it pretty well, I think. So yeah, uh, we move up to 4-1, and, and I think we're top of the conference right now. Because uh, the only undefeated team in the conference lost this week. So yeah, uh, pretty happy with that so far. So yeah, uh, see you guys later. Bye.